Hi everyone, Frederick here at Simple System Trading. Uh, if you use Jigsaw, you might know that Jigsaw Trading uh, allows you to import uh, trade levels uh, by using a comma separated values file. Um, it's a very simple format in the CSV file for Jigsaw imports. Uh, it's explained how to do that in, in this uh, page here. And I created a uh, share a chart study to automate the creation of a CSV file. There is uh, two new studies in, in a bundle. Um, the bundle is specifically for Jigsaw CSV files, uh, and there is two studies in them. Uh, the first study will be a subgraph to CSV, and the second one is a tool drawing to uh, CSV. Uh, we'll hook up the um, the study description documentation here and show you what uh, the study is all about. Uh, if you look at um, the subgraph version, it's uh, basically uh, the study allows you to reference um, a study subgraph in the study and the price, the text and the background color uh, of that subgraph is detected and written to a CSV file. Um, that's basically what the study does. So all changes are detected and uh, you can load as many uh, studies as you want within the same share chart instance uh, because we also have a unique feature that you can write with multiple studies to the same file. So you can really uh, start to fill up one file that you use in Jigsaw to import. Um, so this always also works with the other study in, in the bundle. I'll go over that in a bit. And there's a color table here. According to the uh, Jigsaw documentation, uh, colors have a certain name and the colors are auto detected. Uh, if a color is not in this table and you use that color, uh, you will see that there is an option to set the default color. Um, if um, uh, it's not detected. Um, all the settings are described here. It's uh, pretty straightforward, so it should be uh, easy to set up. Uh, another one is tool drawing to Jigsaw CSV and basically allows you to draw uh, extending rectangles or horizontal rays on your chart and the study will detect them, uh, detect any changes to them and format a CSV file to be used with Jigsaw. Um, same deal here. So let's uh, have a look at the chart here. I loaded a chart with a daily open, high, low, close uh, configured. So I have some values for uh, yesterday's open, high, low, close. Uh, I um, used the subgraph version here to write the yesterday open uh, to file. Uh, write it to the ESCSV file here that's located in my data folder and I will write every five seconds whenever there is something to write. That's the basic settings uh, for the drawings here. I have a horizontal ray be detected. I'm writing to the same file uh, also every five seconds. So right now when we open the file in a simple text editor, um, you will see that there is one entry basically the yesterday open referenced subgraph. So when I start to add a few horizontal rays here, uh, we will see that uh, those will be added to the file as well. So we'll reload that file here and we should see two and probably now a third uh, line added. Um, it says blue here, that's the default color if not detected. So let's uh, use a color that's known in that table. Red is known and uh, 
lime is known and yellow obviously also so if we load that again you'll see that colors have changed and they're added here to uh, the file uh, the same works for uh, extending rectangles we can just quickly duplicate this one set this to extending rectangles with that you have another option only top and bottom or all lines so we'll demo that we'll do top and bottom we draw a uh, rectangle here you'll see that with the reload of the the file a rectangle top and bottom are added 39 and 2825. We change the setting to include all the price levels right here, all lines. It will rewrite the file and include all the price levels in between and including the top and the bottom. We go to 39 all the way down to 28.25 here. And that's a different option to uh, display an extending rectangle in the CSV file for use in, in Jigsaw. Let's send it back here. Uh, all those changes will be reflected in the uh, CSV file within the uh, right limitations um, that are set up. Uh, if the color changes on that referenced uh, subgraph here, like we make this yellow and uh, you change the text, that will also be reflected by a rewrite of the CSV file. You see that the cha change on text and color happened on that referenced subgraph here. So this completes the demo. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll wrap up this video. Thank you.